There it is. Bird person versus Miho. Dude, I love Bird Person's, uh, God, I don't even know what to call that. Sweater? Cardigan? I don't know what that I is. I think that's a cardigan. Yeah, it looks like a cardigan, but it's, it also, I don't know. That's actually really stylish. Yeah, dude, it's styling. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, what do you think his shirt says? We have an E and an R. Is that a B? Burr? Uh, I don't know. That... Uh, yeah, that is a B. That's oh definitely a B. I really wanted to get super hype and take his like cardigan off. <laughs> oh no, he's shedding his cardigan. <laughs> Run for your lives. <laughs> I'm actually pretty jelly. Yeah. No, he looks fly. Dude, cardigans are sick. Yeah. I you agree. know who looks at, who wears cardigans all the time and pulls them off super well? Jahani. Yeah. Shout outs to Jahani and Yo, his style. Yeah. He wears those like super cool, really thin ones that are super long. Yeah, yeah. But he's like small enough and thin enough that it looks good. The shorts, the, or not the shorts, the, the pants that he always has. Those like, they're kind of baggy, like the the crotch area. Oh, the chinos. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are really sick too. I like that a lot. <clears throat> okay. A musician. If you're a musician, you got to be on fleek. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just a band teacher. <laughs> I feel like that's the biggest difference. Have you, okay, have you ever seen a band teacher who's styling? I know, but have you? But you've seen? Have you seen very many musicians like who actively perform and stuff who weren't styling? I mean, I'm sure they're out there, but like more than on average, they're styling. You know, I feel like that's the big difference. Okay. Nothing about like dreams or what you want to do with music it has everything to do with the like style. yeah found something there because <laughs> I can't think of like a single situation which that doesn't fit so yeah dude I mean I'm pretty sure it's true yeah of oh, course wow. everything I say is an inalienable law so <laughs> um bird person taking the first star yeah that's is I wonder if this guy's for oh, oh my god, god. birdie. I was just about to say, I wonder if the um, good mid-level players are from Austin, and then something like that happens. Yeah. Ugh. That and was funny that, looking, What is that for tennis? Like, 20 love or something like that? Oh, I have no idea, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to make, uh, trying to make, trying to make memes. Leave me alone, y'all. This is a really strange matchup. Um, a lot of people are saying it's really bad for Falco. I, I think it's underexplored. Agree? Yeah, because like, what Falco mains are like doing it? You know, that's there's the like thing. West balls. Here's here's the issue that I have that's going on in today's current meta game. All right, lay it on me. PPMD has left for a little bit, right? He says he's coming back soon. Yep. Sick. Love the guy. Great, great dude. Right. Every Falco player is basically like, oh, well, he's not doing work on the character anymore. <laughs> well. Time to pick up Fox or complain about everything. <laughs> not all Falco players do it. I'm not saying that. But I am saying a large majority of the Falco players recently have been doing a lot of that stuff. Some guy was arguing with me a little while ago on how Ice Climbers beat Falco. What do you mean? Yeah, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, I don't know. Anyway, I say that, and then Bird Person's down two stocks when he was up. So, I mean, sometimes you just got to go in on people. Yeah. Miss no, us with true. that lame stuff. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I'm just like, oh god, I can't think of a, like a single more like triggering thing. Caught this back here. Ah! But Falco's back here is pretty triggering. Okay, that, yeah, the fact that it auto cancels is really silly. Don't don't get me wrong. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Putting on the Praha. <laughs> His punishes have just been like not good enough though. Yeah. I feel like that's really what. All that can be said about these game, this game so far is that like yeah. the Falco's punishes just aren't enough, and it's hard. You know, it's like really hard against Peach, but you know, Falco. The way I see the matchup is that Falco has the tools to keep Peach out basically the entire time, yeah, and pressure her too. Mm -hmm. And then she, he has like some combo capability, and he has good kill moves. So like, yeah. But but landing those kill moves can be really hard. You just have to be super patient. There are only like so many things that you can punish with a kill move in the matchup if the yeah. Peach is like playing really well and grounded. You can get quite a few things off of uh, laser jab. Laser jab is so nightmare. Yeah, it's good. insane. Laser jab is amazing, and anybody who thinks otherwise uh, is a big dingus, and I hate them. Yeah. 
Anytime Peach starts jumping in this matchup, Falco needs to like really pay attention to that and have his back towards her. Unless she's at a certain height, right? Because if she starts floating trying to come in after that, instead of just like lasering over and over again, that's how Peaches are gonna start getting in on you. Exactly like that. He Miho came down a little bit early and got snagged by the laser. Yeah, Miho was a little too far away. Yeah, yeah. But like once they start trying to go over lasers right that. Instead of dashing back, shooting a laser, dash back and just kind of watch them. Recognize that they're in the air and just throw a back air out. They can't. And Falco has a teeny tiny, like, short dash, so it's not even like you're giving up a ton of stage positioning. Yeah. You just use use the movement observationally, and then you can kind of see and, like, figure out what your opponent is doing. It's okay. You don't have to push so many buttons. <laughs> you should push more buttons, but press the right ones. Yeah, I guess that's true. That's what West Balls does. He presses a lot of the right buttons. God, he face rolls the controller. Yeah, it's crazy. He just does whatever he wants, and he gets away with it, and it makes me sad sometimes. His movement is wild. It is. It is. And I think that's where, like, some of his, like, openings and stuff come from. There's just, like... The thing he does on platforms where, like, doing. he zooms around on the one side of the platform. Literally, yeah. how? Yeah. How do you do that? That's insane. A lot of, uh... Practice. Let's say practice. Federal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Kidding. Kidding. Uh, definitely shots fired on my part. Please pay us back for our ceiling. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, I supposed to wreck our ceiling. Yeah, he did. Like, okay. God dang it. For anybody who doesn't know, uh, the UTD house here has like six people living in it, and uh, almost a year ago we had. Uh, Smash Fest called the Monthly Mega Meme Money Match, and uh, West Balls, Wobbles, Axe were in attendance. It was sick. Yeah. It was a great party too, and uh, West Balls tripped and grabbed onto like the curtains that we were using to wall off a blanket fort called the Dreamatorium, <laughs> and it just like ripped a hook out of the ceiling. He never paid us back for it. People like yell it at him at tournaments too. Yeah. They're, they're just like, pay those guys back. And he just, he just says no. It's he really just says funny. no and laughs about it. Or like... yeah, he laughs about it. Please pay us back, Les Balls, please. <laughs> we need that $3. 10. It was 10. It was $10? It, 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 I thought it, it was, was like 9 or $10. I thought it was way less than For that. the ceiling tile. Did they replace the ceiling tile? I thought they just spackled it and called it done. Oh, did they? I'm pretty sure that's what they okay, did. Okay, okay. I, I haven't really been in that room, so there's oh, yeah. like nothing that I really need over there, so I don't know. Oh, no! <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, be out of shield up? was the only punish there. Oh, gosh. Woo! I really want Bird Person to start looking into using Nair more for shield pressure, and I want him to start ending his shield pressure with Why? Stuff. Why Nair? Nair has less landing lag on it, so it is easier to, like, get Nair shine and all the other kind of stuff that you need to do. Okay. So, like, it's, it's while it's still oh, no. fine to use down here, it's still, uh, it's good you know, it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, good hold ledge. That makes sense. Hit R. Yeah. So, like, that, but his, his, his pressure isn't ending in anything. Right. He's doing shine, dare, shine, dare, shine, dare, and then he gets hit with, like, upbeat, or his opponent just gets away with him, or away from him with a roll. Yeah. So, well, I uh, have to say peace out and go play some matches. Same, I think. Uh, both of us will be. With you. Yeah, my dude. Likewise. Okay, they're going to find replacements for us, and then we will uh, 